thank you for the honor to lead the Ken Kansas City, Missouri Police Department as Chief of Police. I'm humbled to serve the men and women of this department and our city. I'm confident in my ability in continuing to advance the Kansas City, Missouri Police Department as a progressive law enforcement agency and trusted community partner. As Chief of Police, I will demonstrate and promote the highest standards of personal and professional conduct. I will lead by example with a servant mindset and a collaborative leadership style, advancing our city's policing profession forward. We, the men and women of the Kansas City, Missouri Police Department, are invested in the success, betterment, and safety of our city. As Chief of Police, I will lead the Kansas City, Missouri Police Department in providing a collaborative, community-focused, and professional service to our city's residents and visitors, providing a clear vision and strategy to lead our city's police force to reduce violent crime, build trust through community engagement, increase accountability and transparency while providing equitable and fair service to all. So, okay. if so Chief, uh, you started your career here as a, as a clerk in the records unit. Uh, what are your thoughts now that you ascended to this high level now? I think it's, uh, I think it's great, and I think it just shows that anyone that um, takes an opportunity and, and goes with it, grows, believes in an organization, can achieve the highest position. And I, I think that that's, anyone can do that. Stacey, I know this was part of your prepared statement, but what do you want the community members to know about some of your first steps, some of your first actions, you know, once you get sworn in and, and take off? One of my first is building bridges, and that is, is, is going out into the community, being part of the community, and bringing the community and the police together, that we can work together and really make our city, uh, the, the save the city, and uh, maybe be a national model for that. The city continues to struggle with a high number of homicides. What are your priorities in, in terms of reducing that high number of homicides? My priority in reducing violent crime is coming up with a citywide strategy, which I know uh, the mayor is, is already well within that, starting Partners for Peace. Um, just expanding on that and also looking at innovative ways and, um, and also building that community trust that we, that we do this together as a city to reduce our violent crime. Um, great, because this is my city, and to be the first female police chief in my city just is just, I have no words. What sort of an example do you think you set for young women in the city right now? Well, um, just when we did the, um, the shopping with, with kiddos, even at Target this past Wednesday, um, there were there were girls that I passed by when I'm shopping with the kiddo, and I, there were girls that I passed by there, that I saw them stop and whisper and, and point to me. So I hope that um, I can be a model to, to them and, and live up to that. Susie, so, so you inherit a department that is under a DOJ investigation. Um, now there's an investigation that was launched this week by the board as far as these whistleblower <clears throat> complaints. How are you going to approach these tough issues that, the, that you guys obviously face? Like an open book. Come on in, uh, you know, like obviously police departments across the nation are, are under great scrutiny. I want to show, hey, if, if we're, we're doing something we're not supposed to do, then let's talk about it. Just be an open book and, and just handle things as they come. I, I can't say that enough, just being an open book and, and, and dealing with things head on. I will be that front-facing communicator that this city wants and needs. And if, if there's something that, that we're doing wrong, then the motto, mess up, fess up, move on. And, and the move on isn't forget about it. It's learn from it and move forward in a better way. Okay. Ms. Dean and, and Mayor and Don, and what were, what were uh, Mr. Wagner, what were some of the things that stood out to you about Stacy's application that made, made you decide that this is the person who's going to lead this department? You know, Glenn, why don't we do it this way? Uh, we'll finish all the questions yes. to okay. the chief. We and, then if there, mics. and if there are additional oh, questions, we'll go from there. So, Any other questions for the chief? Stacy, what do you think pushed you to the top of, from the other candidates? Is there any one thing? Uh, hometown maybe. Um, I know the community. The community knows me. Um, the community knows that I, I, I feel like I, I portray my, my heart. Maybe that's to, that's to a fault sometimes, but I, I, I think it's uh, Kansas City, my proven 25 years of, of service to this city and uh, my willingness to uh, take on this, this position, which is not going to be easy, but that's okay. We'll do it together, right? Chief, I want to ask, what are your next steps today and this week? What are your next actual steps that you will take uh, uh, you know, here in the coming days? I got to call my mom. 
<laughs> My mom's going to be very upset that I didn't talk to her first. I was rushed. I, I didn't know it was coming out this quick, but um, call my mom. And then just just starting starting talking to the community. Like that. that's, that's where I'm going to start. And obviously um, the board and the mayor and, and really um, forge those relationships, even with our city council, with our, our community. Um, and I just want to just embrace the men and women of this police department. That, and I'm just so humbled to serve them. What's your mom's name, and does she still live in KCK? No, she is, uh, just a year ago, she moved down to Florida. And her, her name? Uh, I'd rather... Does she want her name? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not yet. Okay. Stacy's uh, mom. Okay. Stacy's mom. Stacy's mom. <laughs> <laughs> Have you told your husband yet? Uh, yes. He met me at the door. He's been my biggest cheerleader. How will you deal with that as far as your husband is a part of the... <coughs> Yeah, administration here? Well, we've learned from each other over the years. Uh, my assignments and his assignments, we've kind of just gotten a, a greater organizational uh, knowledge. But that's going to be his decision. Uh, there, there, he may, we, we've discussed this. I'm not going to act like we haven't, but um, that's going to be his decision if he continues here and continues to serve or if he wants to um, stay home and make sure I have dinner when I go. <laughs> <laughs> 